Welcome to another Kamikaze's creation video. Uh, this arrived today, a thermatic switch. Um, the sensor is already fitted into the radiator, just pushed in through a couple of the fins um, down near the heat area, so where the hot water comes into the radiator. Um, the reason I like this one is that it's got the little digital readout here, which I'll show you once it's running. And it's got a little set switch here so you can set the temperature. It actually uh, supplies two fans. So we've got the blue wire and the orange wire go to the individual fans. When I originally put it in, I just wired both the fans into one wire. So I pulled it out, fixed it up, put it back in. Now I've got three wires coming out, an earth and a wire for the, each of the fans, which I'll hook up to this. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, on the back. I made a little bracket to fit in and I'll show you how that fits in. Um, the little uh, brackets I made to mount the radiator, this slides down in between those. So it's made a bit smaller, it'll slide down and fit in and I'll show you that position when I get it in the car. So guys, she's all fitted up, works absolutely beautifully. The um, temperature reading on the digital readout is about 20 degrees different to the actual water temperature because of where the sensor is. Um, the thermo fan's sitting in there quite nicely. Little bracket I made up to mount right next to the radiator in those radiator support brackets. So just sort of capped it off, but working beautifully. I've got it set so the fans come on at 90. The first one comes on and uh, at at the 90 degrees. And then five seconds later, the second one comes in and it brings it down beautifully. It brings it down to five degrees below the set temperature. Top job. There you go, guys. Job's done. In the first video, radiator in. Aluminium radiator. Nice. Uh, three core instead of two core. Good cooling. Uh, second video, Attaching the uh, thermo fans, uh, making the brackets up, getting them in, uh, and now we've done the uh, electronics for it. The uh, thermatic switch brings it in nicely, cools it down nicely. Um, there's about a 20 degree difference between what the uh, digital readout reads and the actual water temperature because of the location of the sensor. Uh, but once you work that out, just keep an eye on your temperature gauge and set it off your temperature gauge, not necessarily off the uh, digital readout. I've got it coming in at about 90 degrees uh, and it'll drop the temperature um, 5 degrees below uh, your set temperature. So if you set it at 90, it'll bring it down to uh, 85 before it turns the thermo fans back off. Um, first thermo fan turns on at that set temperature uh, and the second thermo fan turns on five seconds later but she's working beautifully uh, very happy with it it's a nice setup should work well in traffic now if you like what I'm doing if you like my videos I've got a, um, a few good projects coming up make sure you subscribe so you can uh, see those projects uh, very close to receiving my uh, supercharger kit um, and uh, I'll be doing a series of videos on the installation and tuning of that to the car. So make sure you subscribe, keep up to date with what I'm doing, get some notifications when I put some new videos up. Thanks guys, thanks for watching.